Hello, display. How's it going? This is Chaz. Obviously, Sarah's not here today. I'm filling in. So please, please be nice in the chat. We got Urban Sombrero, Gummy Nuggets. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. So this is the first day of us coming to you live at 1130 Eastern Standard Time. We're normally hitting you up at night, but we're coming to you live during the day. And we have trivia coming up at noon today. So that's less than 30 minutes from now. So stick around for that. Invite your friends. It's right there, right below. $500 at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific. Invite your friends, be there. Now, I wanna kick us off with a quick poll, just as Sarah does. I'm gonna, not doing her justice, but I wanna kick us off with what's on your agenda this week? Oh, we got a bunch of people coming up. Hey guys, welcome. I'm Chaz, I'm not Sarah, but thanks for joining me. All right, let's kick off this poll. We're not ready, Scott? <laughs> See guys, we're, we're getting used to the early days. This early time, we're not used to it quite yet. Hey China Thug, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in so early. What about today's press release? I don't know, you were gonna have to check it out. A lot of announcements, a lot of exciting things coming to display, so stick around for that. All right, so let me, let's answer this poll real quick. So what's on your agenda this week? We have places to go, people to see, and deadlines to meet. Oof, this is a good one. Places to go, people to see, deadlines to meet. Oof, okay, so right now we have 18% saying places to go. Ooh, it's changing, 23%. People to see 40% and deadlines to meet 36% on a Tuesday. Jeez, you're kicking your week off. All right. Well, sweet. So again, if you're just tuning in, trivia, this is the first day of this new trivia time slot. It's happening at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's in 24 minutes. Chaz can do math. 24 minutes from now. Stick around. It's $500. Um, and while we're here, it, I would be... I would be silly not to say the ways that you could earn money on display. So if you're new to the app, if you're just tuning in because maybe you haven't joined us, maybe the 8 p.m. time wasn't good for you and this is your first time joining, I wanna go over really quickly how to earn money on display. All right, so there's tons of ways to make money on this app, but the first way, the most important way is just posting. So unlike social, other social media apps, you can make money from simply posting on display. And the way that happens is that every time you go through your feed and you're sliding through and you're seeing all your posts, there's an ad. Literally every three posts you see an ad. Well, all the posts above that and all the posts below that are making revenue off of that ad. So normally with other social media apps, the ads go completely to the company. Well, we split that revenue, 50% goes to display and 50% goes to the person who posted it. So that's just quick money just from posting a photo that you're gonna post on another social app anyway. You post it on display, you're literally making money from it. Now the second way is the support me button. So this is exclusive to display, but it's this tiny little S that you'll see below the post. You see it right there below Sarah's photo. It says support me, it's a tiny little gold S in a little circle. So if you tap that, what happens is you watch an ad. Now this is, could be 15 seconds, it could be just a still image. Sometimes it's an interactive game that you can play. But when you play this, that money that is generated from that ad goes 50% to display, but 50% of that goes to the user you supported. So you can literally financially support your friends, the people you follow on the app by just watching an ad. It doesn't cost any money to you. And then below the app, you'll see likes, you'll see shares, you'll see comments, and then you'll see how many people supported you. So get those supports up. It's free, it's free to do and it's free to earn. Um, ooh, we got a bunch of people in the chat right now. Welcome guys, we have trivia coming up at 12 o'clock. That is in a little more than 20 minutes from now. We're giving away $500. I'm hosting today. I know you guys are like, oh my God, who is this guy? It's not Sarah. It's fine, she'll be back tomorrow. I'm just filling in for today. It's just for today. Relax, relax. Um, Gaurav727472 says, hey, hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. How to win? So that's a good question. So this is another way you can make money on this app is trivia, it's $500. And the way you win is you stay right here in the stream. At eight o'clock, I'll come, I'll come back. It'll be me again. 
Oh, what did I say? 11. Oh, 12. 12. It's right here. Sorry. 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You'll come right back here. The answers will pop up right below me. You'll answer 10 questions, 10 seconds each. And then if you get all 10 questions each, you'll split that $500 jackpot with all those other winners. So it's really easy to do. Who else we got? Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Display TV. All right, so hey Tim Dozer, thanks for joining. I'm sorry Sarah's not here, but I appreciate you joining for today. All right, what else? So the last way to make money on this app is inviting your friends, which is super easy. And the reason you should invite your friends is because you get 10% of everything they make. But if this is your uh, settings, this is your menu on the app. And if you click invite your friends, it's right below insights, right above select your account. So if we click on that, it's gonna take us to this invite friends. You have a link there. Now, if you copy that link, that is a link specific to you. Every user has a unique invite link and that allows us to know who's inviting who. But there's also a QR code you can share. You can take a, you can download it as an image. You can post on other social media apps. Get people here because that's just more people to support you, more people to like your stuff and more money for you. All right, guys, we always give away a trivia answer before the game. So we normally, we used to do it around 7.30 p.m., but obviously we switched time, so it's gonna happen now. But we're gonna take a short commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna give question eight away for today's trivia game. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Starting Tuesday, April 12th, Display Trivia is moving to 12 p.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. We're changing times, but we're staying put right here in the Display app. See you soon. I didn't see you there. We're just getting ready for trivia, which is coming up in 18 minutes. No, yeah, 18 minutes. See, I'm not good at math. That's why I'm normally not a mathematician. Anyway, so we are gonna get ready to give away question eight for today's game. It's happening at 12 o'clock. This is the first day that we're doing the daytime games, but we're still giving away $500. So let's get started with giving away question eight. So I'm gonna put up a poll. You're gonna take a stab at it, take your best guess. It's not for any money yet, it's not for any points. It's just for us to give it away, it's just for us. We're having a close, intimate moment here. And if you wanna share the answer with your friends, by all means, go ahead. But I'm not telling anyone else but you. You right here in the stream. All right, let's get that question up. You, the founding of this society prompted New York State to pass the country's first effective anti-cruelty law, ASPCA, Red Cross, or mad. The founding of this society prompted New York State to pass the country's first effective anti-cruelty law. That's ASPCA, Red Cross, or mad. All right, I'm gonna put in my answer. Jeez, you guys didn't need help. We got some smarties. It's daytime, you guys are all awake. We're, we're used to people not getting this correct. It's late at night, but not today. 61% of you are saying ASPCA. 24% of you are saying Red Cross, and 14% of you are saying mad. Well, let me tell you the answer is ASPCA. The answer is ASPCA. That is the answer for question eight for a game that we're about to play in only 17 minutes. We're giving away $500. So, 
Yeah, congrats, that's the answer. Um, all right, so before I go, we wanna highlight some content really quick. Um, so let's take a look at some of those posts. So the first one we have is from Susie, and she says, good morning, afternoon, night to all on display. She is, Susie's covering all her time zones. Okay, Susie, how cute is this kid? Oh my gosh, look at the hair. I'm gonna start doing my hair like this. All right, what else we got? We got Rosita14, who's at Disneyland Paris. Oof, see, a rainy day at Disney is better than most days anywhere else, I will say. And it's raining here in New York today, so. If you're wondering why my hair is not as high as it normally is, that is why. Uh, what else we got? We got Billy Biohazard who says, smile, life is better. Life is short, smile while you have teeth. Amen, amen, words to live by. Billy Bio, what a guy, what a guy. Look at those supports, 20 supports. He's got 239 likes on this photo, okay. And then we have Beast Boogie. This is the face that represents my beast mode. He knows he's got teeth. He's smiling while he's got them. Uh, so Beast Boogie is a, a b-boy and he's, his page is a ton of dancing. It's amazing. We do a lot of stuff with, um, uh, the name's escaping me, but a lot of dance organizations on display will, will stream dance competitions and uh, it's pretty great. The Roots, we have, please show your love in the comments for Academy Award winning director Questlove. Look at him holding that Academy Award. Gosh, we love him. We love Questlove, we love The Roots. All right, guys, we are moments away. 15, actually. Lauren Keller says World of Dance, not World of Dance. But yes, we, we do have a partnership with World of Dance and we do a lot of World of Dance on Display TV, but no, that was not from World of Dance. Tim Dozer says Beast Mode. That's right. Johnny Cash 97, like my pick, please. Okay, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Everyone take a look at Johnny. Tim Dozer, my pleasure. What else? Who else we got? Oh my God, the chat is a lot of emojis flying. Hey guys, all right, so we're 14 minutes away from trivia. I'm gonna go get ready. Next time you see me, <laughs> I'll be giving away $500. So stick around, invite your friends, go share that link we just talked about, and we'll see you in 14 minutes. Starting Tuesday, April 12th, Display Trivia is moving to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific. We're changing times, but we're staying put right here in the Display app. See you soon.
everybody. Starting Tuesday, April 12th, Display Trivia is moving to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific. We're changing times, but we're staying put right here in the Display app. See you soon. Welcome to an all new round of Display Trivia. I'm your host, Chaz May, and we are coming to you live from New York City. Now, if you're wondering why Sarah's not here, well, she couldn't wake up early enough. She's still on that old trivia schedule. Personally, this time works better for me because at sundown, I go from this beautiful princess you see on your screens now to a hideous ogre. And I know what you're thinking, Chaz, that's Princess Fiona from the movie Shrek. And I would say that DreamWorks Animation stole that plot from me because that is literally my life. But my lawyers would advise against it because as they say, you'll never win that case, Chaz. <laughs> Move on. Which is fine because I'm currently in a legal battle with Pixar because you can't tell me Nemo doesn't look just like me. Now Sarah will be back tomorrow, but for today, I'm your host. Let's see who is in the chat. Who's joining us today? Oh, I, I, just, I just logged on. You guys just saw me join. Kim Osorio says me. What's up, Kim? XAF says me. Jibon1, hello. Razvan B, hey. Ayanog, how's it going, guys? A little midday trivia? Getting, making a little $500? Huh? We having fun? All right, so here's how it's going to go. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. Now, when a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully. Because once you tap, there's no going back. Now, if you get one wrong, though, just keep playing. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phone vertically. That's this way. Now, your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting and have your profile completed. Now, how about we do a little quick practice to make sure you're woken up, huh? So would you rather rise and shine, drop it like it's hot, or let them down easy? Would you rather rise and shine, drop it like it's hot, let them down easy? You know, it's funny, right before we started, I was just casually dropping it like it was hot, like I do every day at noon. Oh, and 50% of you are rising and shining. 37% of you are with me for that midday drop in it like it's hot. And 12% uh, are letting them down easy. All right, okay. Well, why don't we get started? It's time for Display Trivia. Question one. A V-neck shirt is named after what letter? V, F, X. A V-neck shirt is named after what letter? V, F, X. I mean, come on guys, it's question one. The answer is literally right in the name. <laughs> I mean, I love things that are upfront about what they are. Things that leave nothing to the imagination. You know, this was especially helpful on a menu. Coffee, cake, chicken, parm. You know exactly what you're getting. Unlike in a Tinder bio, you should have said commitment issues in your bio. <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. Now, 93% of you knew that a V-neck is modeled after a V. Good for you. Question two. In Jules Verne's 1872 novel, the main character seeks to get around the world in how many days? Seven, 80, 365. In Jules Verne's 1872 novel, the main character seeks to get around the world in how many days? 7, 80, 365. Now in 1872, this was a huge deal. But today, well, today you wouldn't even bat an eyelash at that. In fact, if it took that long to get around the world today, it'd be like, I told you to stop flying Spirit Airlines. The savings they make you think you get it, you're getting are just not worth it. Also, you end up spending the money anyway when you have to pay extra for literally any minor convenience. Hi, yes, extra leg room is an additional fee? Oh no, leg room is additional fee. Oh, so I have to pay for any room for my legs. Uh, yes, sir, room is not included. <laughs> Your ticket was only $20 for a round trip flight. Now, would you like a single peanut? Now, the French sci-fi author, Jules Verne, 
wrote around the world in 80 days. And 94% of you got that. Q3. The meme, my enemies are after me, references a line from which documentary? Tinder swindler, worst roommate ever, free solo. The meme, my enemies are after me, references a line from which documentary? Tinder swindler, worst roommate ever, free solo. Some might say this line sounds a little paranoid, but personally, I think this guy is just looking out for number one. In fact, how can you be so confident your enemies aren't out for you right now? And don't you say you don't have any enemies, because really, you've never made a single enemy? I don't buy it. You've never broken up with someone or cut someone off in traffic, left less than a five-star Yelp review? Trust me, babe, <laughs> you have enemies. My arch nemesis happens to be the hamburger helper mitt. No, I do not need a simple meal idea that the whole family would love. Now, the Tinder swindler, Simon Laviv, got women to uh, send him money by pretending to be a billionaire son who was constantly running from his international adversaries. And 90% of you are not getting swindled by this game. Question four. Select the company whose name is an example of alliteration. Barnes & Noble, Red Robin, Geico. Select the company whose name is an example of alliteration. Barnes & Noble, Red Robin, Geico. Alliteration is something called a literary device, which honestly makes it sound way more nifty than it actually is. You think it'd be something cool like a microphone in your shoe or a stick of gum and it's actually a compass, you know, spy stuff. But literary devices are actually just noting when things rhyme or two words start with the same letter. Yeah, no, I want, I, I want the gum compass. So the same letter is alliteration and Red Robin is the only one here. And 87% of you got that. All right, question five. What is the name of the Microsoft Office Assistant who debuted in 2000? Siri, Clippy, Jeeves. What is the name of the Microsoft Office Assistant who debuted in 2000? Siri, Clippy, Jeeves. See, Microsoft knew what they were doing here. They were like, we're gonna make office software, you know, for work. Boo. But it comes with a little cartoon character, yay. <laughs> See, there are ways besides pizza parties and casual Fridays to trick people into thinking that work is fun. Though I'm not gonna lie, pizza at work hits different than pizza in a restaurant. Maybe it's the thrill of trying not to get sauce all over your keyboard. Anyway, Clippy is the cartoon paperclip who showed up to help people use the Microsoft Office suite on programs and still shows up every now and then when you least expect him. Ah! Oh no, that is just a normal paperclip. Guys, we really got to sweep up here in the studio. 90% uh, of you got it. Question six. Which Disney animated movie is incorrectly matched with the author whose work it is based on? Tangled. The Brothers Grimm, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Victor Hugo, and Canto, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Which Disney animated movie is incorrectly matched with the author whose work it is based on? Tangled, The Brothers Grimm, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Victor Hugo, and Canto, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Disney kind of has a brilliant model for storytelling, which is take a story that already exists, take all the adult stuff out of it, like death and nudity, add a few animal sidekicks, and you're good to go. Oh, and the singing. You can't forget the singing. And you can't sing about him. But do not, do not talk about Bruno. We do not talk about Bruno. No, no, no. These stories come from the following. Rapunzel is a brother's grim fairy tale. Hunchback is based on the Victor Hugo novel of the same name. But although the creative, uh, creative team behind Encanto went to Gabriel Garcia Marquez's estate in Colombia and were inspired by his magical realism, the plot is not taken from any of his writing. And 84% of you aren't feeling the pressure. That's an Encanto song as well. All right, question seven. According to 2020 data, the most thefted car in America that year was designed by what maker? Toyota, Honda, Ford. 
According to 2020 data, the most thefted car in America that year was designed by what maker? Toyota, Honda, Ford. They say that a car is a bad investment, horrible. They being dads, of course. But apparently, once you drive a new car off the lot, its value decreases by like half. I mean, what else can you buy that has that level of depreciation? Even an avocado gets just a tad better once you get it home. Although there is a, a tight window for when those are good. I, I almost feel like avocado should come with a monitor who comes home with you and checks every few minutes whether they're ready or not. Maybe like an Uber, but for checking avocado ripeness. Did I just start a business? <laughs> How Elizabeth Holmes of me. Toyota Camrys and Corollas are some of the most thefted cars in America, as well as Honda Accords and CRVs. But the most thefted car in 2020 was the Ford F-150. And 82% of you are still in this game. That was good. That was a good one. All right, Q8. The founding of this society prompted New York State to pass the country's first effective anti-cruelty law, ASPCA, Red Cross, or MAD. The founding of this society prompted New York State to pass the country's first effective anti-cruelty law, ASPCA, Red Cross, or MAD. Laws are important. If you break them, there are serious consequences. Rules are almost as serious. Rules are like laws that when that, that were like, we're not angry, we're just disappointed. Look, you don't have to go to jail, but you do not get to pass go or collect $200. The five second rule though, that's maybe, that maybe is the only one we should make into a law, especially if it's pudding. In 1866, the American Society for the Protection and Care of Animals was created, which led to an anti-cruelty laws in New York and then eventually at the federal level. We don't need Sarah McLaughlin to sing for us today because 92% of you got it right. My one was not as good. All right, question nine. Which of the following modern pop song titles contains the word that translates to double plus good in George Orwell's Newspeak? Best Friend, Sweetie, Last Friday Night, Katy Perry, Crazy in Love, Beyonce. Which of the following modern pop song titles contains the word that translate to double plus good in George Orwell's Newspeak? Best Friend, Sweetie, Last Friday Night, Katy Perry, Crazy in Love, Beyonce. Newspeak, in case you don't know the language, it was created by the dystopian government in George Orwell's novel, 1984. Now, we might not have evil overlords who regulate what we say in real life, but we do have Gen Zers on the internet and in this chat who say things like mid or simp and honestly, there is, this is much more terrifying to me. I mean, what if I forget the meaning of e-boy or live and rent free, what then? Big Brother might not be watching, but even worse, the high school sales associates at Abercrombie & Fitch might think I'm lame. I'm not, right? If the chat was here, all those Gen Zers would tell me though I am getting a shot of the hair, and no one told me it looked this bad. <laughs> anyway, double plus good means the best. Only song with that in the title is Sweeties. And 79% of you are moving on because it's time for the final question. Question 10. The actress who said the on-screen line, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers, was born in what country? Scotland, India, South Africa. The actress who said the on-screen line, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers, was born in what country? Scotland, India, South Africa. Really, no disrespect, but to only depend on strangers? I just don't see getting real far with that. <laughs> and maybe it's because I live in New York. I don't trust the strangers on the subway not to make unwanted eye contact with me, let alone look out for me should I be in trouble. I mean, the kid spinning and hanging from the poles is good, but has he measured himself to make sure he's not gonna kick anyone in the face? And don't even get me started on that mystery liquid on the seat across from me. I mean, that puddle looks like it is out for me. The actress is Vivian Lee, played, who, I'm sorry, who played Blanche, Blanche de Bois, de Beau? in A Streetcar Named Desire, <laughs> and also Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. 
She was born to English parents, but while they were living in India, well, oh, while they were living in India. Oof. All right, how'd we do? 82% of you got question 10 correct. How many winners do we have? I mean, you came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge and you're getting paid. Sarah's gonna kill me for saying that, but don't worry, she'll be back tomorrow. 339 people, congrats. Throw it in the chat if you're a winner. Gary Michael R, eight out of 10. But Gary, you came and that's all that matters. Thank you for being here. Bite me 90K, six, I'm sorry. Missed the penultimate cue. Gary Michael R, great show, great game. You're the best. Thanks for the show, my pleasure. Tumero Macho won. Congrats, super user, crying. I hope those are tears of joy. 10 out of 10 for Calpodo4. See some of these usernames. China Thug got undesired result on Q10. Everything else was right, but Q10, I'm sorry. But guys, all of you guys are just saying you didn't win. Amy, zero out of 10. Amy, Amy, Amy. Two out of 10, King JJ. Guys, we're coming back tomorrow. I won't be here. I know that's I know that's truly heartbreaking for all of you. But Sarah will, and she'll be back here at 12 p.m. Eastern. She'll be here at 11:30 in the 11:30 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time to give you a trivia answer. So come early, get question eight. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Super user five out of ten. Gbon one. Kim Osorio six. Come on. Gary Michael R. Do evening shows. Chaz, you do good to me. Who else we got? My lord. Thanks, Chaz. Max, I'm very late coming this game. It's, you're 16 minutes late. Tomorrow, 12 p.m., be there. All right, love this new time, says Hugsy. We're glad. So, all right, join us tomorrow, 12 o'clock. We'll see you there on display. Hey, everybody. Starting Tuesday, April 12th, Display Trivia is moving to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific. We're changing times, but we're staying put right here in the Display app. See you soon.